and I can't figure out what the difference is. That's where I get crazy. I didn't take any. I took I took aspirin. <laughs> I didn't take any painkiller. <laughs> At the most, I had the aspirin going. Now we're on painkillers five. I think part of this is the drunk. We were we were on some painkillers because of the drunk. So fine. Getting the consistency is is the is the problem I run into. All right, not gonna worry about it for now though. It went away. Um, we'll dump the goggles. Let's see. Gotta keep. Some of this other stuff. We didn't take much in the way of damage to our gear. Our art arm, gu arm guards are about to go away, unfortunately. But other than that, it was a um, pretty, pretty light, easy trip. Let's see. Let's get rid of those damaged ones. Um, oh, yeah. We brought back the MBR vest. That'll help when I want to get into uh, crafting. If I get that far... All right, we need to throw some more bandages on, too. We'll do that. And... All right, not sure when we're going to need to uh, re-up our, our supply there. Um, we got to work on something. So I can turn a light on inside the van. Just for temporary checking. Uh, so I do have a building for beginners, getting me to fab three. Um, but we don't have anything that will take me beyond three. So we're still missing uh, higher level books. So I still wouldn't be able to do um, survivor gear, for example. I need to get to about fab six for that. And it's easier to do this via the other method anyway. Maybe I'll go with a little bit of first aid training while we wait. I think I was working on actually rifles and marksmanship. Nah, at the range I'm doing it at, I almost always hit anyway. So let's do, um, yeah, let's get some first aid. Let's let's finish doing this thing. Not with the uh, not with the flashlight though. Uh, we got a lantern, right? No. Lamp. Oil lamp. Hey, we're tired. Cool. We'll, um... Yeah, I'm gonna let this run. Ah, this is the morale hit. <laughs> mood swing! Alright, mood swing, and I have no face. Have minus 101 morale. No learning for you, silly man. Uh, I guess we'll just go to sleep then. What time is it? 4 a.m.? I'd actually like to push this a little further, but I can't do much when my morale's so low. Turn the lamp off. And we're just going to wait a little bit. Still got the mood swing, but it's degraded quite a bit. We should be able to read again. <laughs> it hit again! Damn you, mood swings! <laughs> oh, It's always fun to play with these crazy mental things like mood swings and schizophrenia and, and all that. Right up until you're trying to get something important done. Then you just get kind of grumpy. Well, we'll uh, turn the lamp off. And uh, wait another 30 minutes. Let's see if we can get another mood swing while we're trying to read. Nope, still bad.
Come on, finish this skill book at least. Or the skill level. Alright, there we go. 8 a.m. Now we're going to sleep. That'll get us closer to a uh, nighttime wake-up time. And um, then we'll be able to head back into town. Hopefully, if we gain enough hit points anyway. So we got first aid level 2. Is enough time gone by? Yeah, I should probably throw another refresher bandage and disinfectant, especially on our, our brain case. Not going to get another level done, so let's do that now. The other parts keep throwing unboiled bandages on. Good enough for now. Alright, um, I don't want to drink my cold water. Any sports drink left? Got me down to just thirsty. I think that's going to have to be good enough. Hey there, tough zombie. I am very much not drunk. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not wearing that right now. Done with that. <laughs> I messed it up. That's funny. Nothing left of the in-progress blindfold 99% <laughs> to craft from. You mess up and destroy the duct tape. That's funny. So, really? <laughs> the whole thing is just gone? That's, that's awesome. Oh, that's not what I was trying to make. That is good stuff. Alright, wear the blindfold. Nothing should make noise nearby unless it's a zombie anyway, so we're not going to go with... Um... Eh, I should eat some more real quick before I do. Alright, I can't think of anything else I need to do. We're on stimulants. Awesome. That'll make it fun to sleep. Still irradiated. Nah. Come on, fall asleep. Come on, <laughs> you can do it. We, 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 we kept reading for quite a while. There we go. My head. God damn it. Here we go. Death by random crap again. <sighs> 
Death by random crap again. It's going to be the temperature thing again. <clears throat> Another one of those bullcrap deaths due to broken mechanics. See where it put me. Yeah, my head froze off because even though I was in, on a blanket, I was sleeping on a t on a chair with a blanket. I don't think it was giving me the warmth bonus, and um, I, I I don't know exactly. Let's see where it puts me. Hopefully, it's here at the vehicle. That eh, saved in the middle of our reading. That's fine. We'll do a quick save right before we... Uh, we'll check our conditions. We'll do a quick save right before we sleep. And we'll see if it uh, happens again. But uh, it's going to be something about this. I shouldn't have to. That's the problem. I'm sleeping with a blanket that's supposed to regulate your temperature. So unless it doesn't count a car seat, which is a possibility. But even then, it, it it's still total bullcrap. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, total bull crap. Because even that should not be causing me to uh, to take damage. But we'll we'll check to see what the temperature is up front. Uh, blindfold. Give me the blindfold. Drop a few items. Shrieker shows up. And it does on me. And Shrieker can see me from a million miles away because that is just how Shriekers are. Come get me, Shrieker. I don't want to wear the balaclava yet. Charge! Didn't get the day's effect. Here's the tough. 57 to the east, huh? Where are you? So, yeah, that's that's what was killing me. Does it show the same temperature up front here? Oops. <clears throat> yep. Minus 59, minus 40 up the front. <laughs> minus 60, minus 42. So it's getting colder with the sun up. <laughs> I'm colder now than I was earlier. Yeah, the wind was missing. That I know. But what's supposed to happen is um, when you've got a blanket and a pillow, the blanket is supposed to regulate your heat. So that you don't actually freeze while you're uh, you're sleeping on a space of the blanket. That's not what uh, that's what didn't happen. That's the mechanic that I think is uh, stupid and broke. So what? Why is? Oh, that's because I died there. That's my body. All right, <laughs> now I understand. Uh, here on the ground to there, all of that. <laughs> Let's move that up here. Get out of the way. Uh, 
So yeah. Alright. <laughs> Just going to do it again if I don't uh if I don't put a whole bunch of warmth on my head. It's cuz of the damage that it's more susceptible to the cold, but um yeah, you're supposed to uh, take advantage of the uh, the blanket and the pillow for sleep, and it's not doing it. Whereas if I make a pile of rags on the ground right here, it'll probably work just fine. Not that it'll be terribly comfortable. That's, um... <laughs> And it's not the same as when you wear the blanket. That's not the kind of coverage you get. It's uh, just intrinsic to the way blankets operate when you go to sleep. They automatically provide temperature regulation for your entire body. Has nothing to do with their stats on what they cover if you wear them. <clears throat> just deciding, trying to decide whether I want to do something out here or down below. Yeah, let's do an experiment. Alright, so we're going to drop um, the sheet and the sheets. And we'll even go grab a few more pieces of clothes. Yeah, I guess I don't have that much clothing. <laughs> Cargo pants, sure. The duster. Raincoat. Sounds fun. Oh crap, did I not pick them up? What did I have this set to? Yeah, I had it set wrong. Alright, so all we've got here is some clothes, some sheets, a blanket, and a pillow. Still the same temperature. Sleeping on a hard ground. We're probably not tired enough. We may not sleep at all, given we're trying to sleep on a, a surface like this, but um, let's actually move it. Let's, let's put it over here. Maybe the grass will be a little better. Probably gonna have to pass some time before we, we try this. So let's let's do that first. Let's um let's read a little more. Keep working on first aid. <laughs> oh, I see. We'll uh, work ourselves into even more of a tired status here. Still cold? No, now all of a sudden the temperature is perfectly rosy and, and happy. Really? Is that how you're gonna be? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I guess in the vehicle it's nice and warm. Um, oops.
All right, let's do a quick save. And so, still 53, negative 53, tiny bit warmer. Let's see if oh yeah, I forgot I got to uh, got to reapply some bandages. Yeah, I guess that's the old one I need there. Good enough. All right, let's try to sleep. So this is going to start scrolling messages, but um, usually there's a message about you snuggle into your blankets and regulate your warmth or whatever. Yeah, use your pump pillow for comfort. Keep trying. I know it's hard ground. So we fell asleep right there. Use your pile of clothes for warmth. Use your pillow for comfort. So we're not going to take any damage whatsoever. We're gonna we're gonna heat well <laughs> right up until the damn dog showed up. <laughs> that dog. Uh, good old good old random wander spawns while I'm trying to sleep out in the open here. But you get the idea. So here works. Vehicle didn't work. <laughs> For no good reason. Um Yeah. I'm not sure if uh, there's something odd about it. it has to be a reclining seat versus a regular seat. Maybe that makes a difference. I, I don't know. But I always sleep in my vehicle. And um, I don't know if this is a one-time thing where it uh, didn't take the blankets and the whatever clothing and such into consideration or what. Now we're going to have the problem where it's going to be probably really hard for us to get back to sleep again. Wear blindfold. Trying to get back to sleep. Is it still cold? Minus 41. I've got nothing on my head. Lots of tossing and turning. Dad, yeah, stupid insomnia and trying to sleep on the ground here is just not going to work. Um, so yeah, so there's there's a total lack of um, healing. So, give me the pillow, give me the blankets. See, right there it says you use your blankets to keep warm. Now everything's working great. <laughs> well, now we're taking damage again. Here we're about to die again. <laughs> uh, is it is, is it an amount of cold thing <laughs> i wasn't aware there was a limit i mean sure if you're in an ice lab or something but <laughs> i loved it how we we gained like two bars of health and all of a sudden tick 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 <laughs> Uh, and it's definitely all cold damage. Mouth hurts, head hurts. It's just pure cold damage. There's a lot of complaints about the temperature system right now. <laughs> this would be part of that. Uh, so now we have a, another corpse. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd kind of think. <laughs> it's not as bad as the 4,000 fatigue <laughs> minus 160 degree temperature due to the fatigue uh, meth adventure that we had. <laughs> but it's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. So, yeah. <laughs> 
Let's try one more experiment. Freezing to death wouldn't normally wake you up, no. Hypothermia sets in and, and you're, you're just going to be gone. Alright, so... My, my blanket and my pillow are still are back in the vehicle now, along with another corpse. <laughs> so much gear! I'll go ahead and throw this all back in here. Yeah, I wish there was some way of checking or seeing the temperature change, but I, I can't keep anything up that shows the temperature on my body parts while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so I don't know what it's setting it to. Well, I, I think the only realistic alternative here is to um, either wear two balaclavas, <laughs> see if that keeps me from dying, or uh, set up a bed underground in the basement of the evac shelter, which I'd really rather not do. And it saved after we had gotten that little bit of sleep or rest, so we're going to have to read some more. It's already almost noon, so yeah, this is, this is messing up the timing of my sleep and hopeful nighttime <laughs> adventures. We'll read a little bit longer. Go till 3, 3 p.m. <laughs> okay, where balaclava? Where balaclava? <clears throat> Mouth is now too warm. And crouch, wear the blindfold, and try to sleep. Oops, did I not put on, um, I, don't, I don't remember if the bandages and the disinfectant were gone. I'm not seeing much progress, so that's going to suck. We're not going to get much healing. We're still not going to be able to go anywhere. Yeah, apparently my, my medicine, I either needed to reapply it or it wore off after my earlier save. We're getting no progress. All right, well, that sucks. We're going to have to hang out another day, at least. Yeah, hidden health stats getting down. Um, this kind of stuff is just not very fun. Um, some seeds... Graham crackers. Not that much water sitting here either.
Oh, I do have it. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little confused here. Oh, I see. <clears> hmm. <throat> now we've got it. First aid three. Did reset some of the stuff. I did need to reset my uh, first aid, so my bad. I thought after my quick save it would have kept me in that condition. Start working on fab. Let's do dodge first. And there goes the morale again. Okay. Time is it? Any? Don't need the lamp anymore. Zombies! Oops. <laughs> There's the days. Ah, a few more coming. Those being days make it easier or harder to go to sleep. Let's try this again. Temperature's fine. Off we go. See if we get any healing done. Hoping we can at least get back into the green. Yeah, we got back into the green. Can we get another another partial bar? Do I hang out one more day? I think it'd probably be best to hang out one more day. If I am getting a little short on food and water. All right, didn't get another one. 
10 p.m. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely, whoops, definitely need to uh, hang out at least one more day. Have uh, spam. Good old morale again. Instantly hits again. Yeah, the mood swing is gonna be pretty vicious if you don't have. Ah, there it goes again. I don't have some other way of countering it. Mood swing all by itself is keeping me from being able to read. Having the face on wouldn't uh, wouldn't change it enough to actually make it so I could still read. Time is it? 7.50 a.m. Uh-oh. This Loot of Devour is coming for me. Um, Alright. Turn that off. Yeah, we gotta deal with this. And a Spitter Zombie. Ooh, Spitter first. Oh crap. Um, I'm in my sneakers, right? I need you to spit right now and miss me, please. Good job. <laughs> Take off. Taking back, right? Have some gin and some vodka. And some more gin. And then beat the holy hell out of some zombies. How about you step on the acid? Who else wants some? Come on, other random zombies. Of course, the other ones are just out of reach until I want to get something done. Then they'll all race at me. Oops. Barrels after a chipmunk? Nope, now he's at me. Okay. Uh, butcher. Spitter. Ah! <laughs> I can't even butcher the corpse. Uh, that's good stuff. I'm too sad to chop a corpse up. That is awesome. Corpse taken care of. Uh, 8.30 a.m. Thirsty is going to start to be a problem. Yeah, it's going to start to be a big problem.
Come on, tired status. Need one more. There we go. One more sleep cycle. All right, Fab three. Have some uh, canned tomatoes before they go totally bad. Take some cough syrup with us. All right, I'm on my last bandage, almost. This should, I think, finish popping us off for hit points, though. And a makeshift also. Yeah, let's top everything off. All right, hopefully this is the last time we'll be able to get some more interesting stuff done. Crouch and sleep. Assuming I get to sleep. Use your blanket to keep you warm. <laughs> well, you didn't do such a good time last time, ban ban blanket. All right. Come on, at least get us into that last bar of healing. Ah, right, here we go. Well rested, we wake up. Our hidden health stats recovered back to its pretty much default stats. Take off bandage or blindfold, I mean. One last hit on the what do I got left? All I got left is my three slots of clean water. Yep. Alright, let's have a uh, curry and mushroom soup. That yeah, provides both. Okay, so yay, hit points are finally back. Um, I'm gonna keep the army helmet with me. I need a couple of makeshift bandages. Out of rags, am I? All right. Yeah, don't use that. Uh, I don't have them with me. They're probably laying around in here somewhere. <laughs> well, I got my in-progress ones, too. <laughs> I forget how many of those there. Dang it! See, it's loud again! <laughs> I don't know why. I got no explanation. Alright, I think we're all set. How are we going to do this one? So now we have a truly full moon. So we got the maximum view range now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 range. It's basically daylight. <laughs> Almost. So that is what a full moon looks like. We have clear skies. So we've got the maximum brightness we can possibly get. Um... I I don't still have my battery for my food person helmet. I need my battery for my food person helmet.
Alright. Back to the rollerblades. Let's give it... Oh, damn it! <laughs> it's always great when that happens. It's always great when that happens. Uh, well laid plans of mice and men. Uh, well, that, um, that changes things tremendously. I can't afford to try to go in under those conditions. We're not leaving until it gets clear skies again, if it even does. So, yeah, let's, um, let's go grab the lamp again. Let's work on computers with this guy. Marksmanship. Now nah, let's start working on computers. I love how it gets clear and then cloudy. All right, we're stuck another day. We can't go in. Already 4 a.m. I won't have time. Even if it does clear up. So we're going to lose the full moon. That is unfortunate. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix the the food and water shortage. Let's do that before I do anything else. It's gonna get irritating if I don't take care of it. Um, here it is. Where are you? I needs me a six liter tank. Alright. Go up here, find us a puddle of water. Uh, there's one. Well, hey there, soldier zombie. I'd rather not fight you with a metal tank and with rollerblades on. me being drunk. Let's go with brass knuckles. 58. And he downed him. Yep, stunned and downed. Hey, what is our... Nah, we're still only at unarmed 4. <laughs> and 49 critical. That'll work. Brought me a Sig 552 full of 223 and a combat knife. That's not bad, I guess. Random soldier out of nowhere. Where did my puddle of water go? Yeah, get your stamina back. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Now we've got plenty of water sitting around. Next up, let's go. That's what I needed, emergency blanket. need a little bit of wood so we can cook up some water right after I go get another six liter tank <laughs> put this one up here we'll put this one up here
Ah, good enough for now. Oh, I gotta deploy that and <laughs> not drop it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Take a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it. I don't have to deal with this again for a long time. And we had to get rid of some, burn some time anyway. I guess I'd better. Really? Grim Howler is smart enough to run away? That seems weird. <laughs> Zombie wolves will run away. Whoa! Hey, buddies! Alright, time to uh let me get serious about the beatdown. Fill in my sneakers. Let's dump the backpack. That was a little rougher than I thought it would be. Hmm. I wonder if it was the thirst slowing me down so much. It seemed to take a lot more damage, took a lot more hits to kill things. I was I was drunk. Seemed like a tougher fight than it should have been for what I was fighting there. <laughs> Love how I keep getting hit by the smoke. Alright, that tank is completely full of clean water now. Should be all that I need. Um, so yeah, let's um, finish this off. And refill our gallon jug. Arm guards are trash. Got plenty enough to do boiled bandages. <clears throat> capital F, capital F key changes fire modes. Uppercase F to fire, uppercase or capital F to change fire mode. 
All right, so unfortunately, our timing's going to suck again. We're not tired right now. This insomnia is making my life really difficult. <laughs> it's, it really kind of is. Um, I love how I think this is the first time I've ever just kind of set up a camp <laughs> out the back of a capture van. Um, gonna bite me in the ass here pretty soon when something nasty shows up. Guess we'll just um, keep crafting and or reading until something shows. Currently, we've got the no face morale mod. Let's ditch some of the uh, balaclavas too. Is that enough to keep me warm? Yeah. How about taking the other one off now that we're not so damaged on our, our, our brain case? Yep. Uh, it's where the uh, food person mask. There we go. Oh yeah. Now we've just got the being hot morale, <laughs> which will go away. All right, uh, more computers, I guess. It's gonna suck, cause right when the sun goes down, it's gonna get dark. Uh, I mean, it's gonna, the weather's gonna turn to, uh, cloudy, <laughs> and, and I'm tired. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. Damn you, game. Uh, ah, spitter zombie, and that's not what's triggering the, uh, sounds there. Something else is in the area. Yeah, feral. Alright, spitter, do your thing. Come fight me over here, feral. That is really goddamn annoying. Really, really annoying. <laughs> if I had gotten uh, drunk, I would have been able to kill him quick enough. I thought I would be able to drop him before he got the chance to spit again. I uh, I thought wrong. Now we got more, more leg damage that I really didn't need. 